feeling the wind. I'm the one in the Jeep and I'm not feeling the wind. I'm definitely feeling the wind too. Yeah, but the van you are not pulling the trailer. Did you guys notice the eagle on the right hand side of the road pecking at a dead deer? Yeah, it did work. Okay, yeah, so since you and I have got the cameras, if you see a good shot opportunity, call it out and uh, stop the cameras. Okay, four. Living in Alberta, Canada, our weather can change from one extreme to the next very quickly. And when the cold breaks and the Chinooks roll in, it's time to get out and explore. Some winter camping was in order. With the blue sky and the sun shining, we packed the rigs and drove an hour and a half due south of Calgary. It's uh, rather beautiful out. Hope you guys brought your snowshoes. Ten four. Okay, bridge coming up here soon. Our turn off is right there. We took the forestry trunk road heading north to Dutch Creek and took the first right onto a trail before the closed winter gates. The snow was deeper than we expected, but it was nice to get the vehicles out after a long, cold December. The view from the open meadow was breathtaking, with the snow-capped mountains in stark contrast to the blue sky.
the Tacoma was the first vehicle in a long time to break tracks in the deep snow. We have set up camp many times before, but not in extreme snow conditions. Going out on adventures together allows you to become more efficient as a team and in understanding each other's equipment in any environment. We knew the temperature would drop as the late afternoon approached, so we zipped the floor onto the annex to retain heat. Okay, found you one rock. I found some blocks of blocks of wood. Oh, okay. Oh, rock. Not wood. Oh, we'll try it. Yeah. Not no, 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 no. Blendy. It's always good to have a little fire kit around, just uh, in case. Start this the old-fashioned way. Flint and steel. Clamping. We had a few minutes left to discuss future trips before Pierre had to head back home to his newborn baby girl. Now the water I was using is the water that we boiled before bed. So we boiled uh, water, filled them to the top, took a scarf or a sweater, wrapped it around, and we threw these in the bottom of our sleeping bags. You would not believe how, how much extra warmth that this gives you. Also in the morning, I now use this water to make my coffee with. It's not ice cold water, so it's still lukewarm in here. And then I'll just have faster boiling water. Because I'm Canadian, I had to get the Tim Hortons.
comes the sun. Ba -da -da -da. Here comes the sun, and I say it's all right. If you're prepared, if you have the right equipment, and you have a little bit of skills and know-how, this is actually really enjoyable. Camping is not just for summertime. You can make ca camping happen all year round. You just gotta be prepared. The rigs were packed and ready to go but we needed to put our snowshoes to good use as the sun was shining. There was a light breeze and the snow was in perfect condition. Adventure begins the moment you decide to act on a sudden urge to explore. If the journey calls for you, you must answer it. If the mountain is calling, climb it. If the river calls to you, cross it. When you don't know where that trail will lead you, explore it. Adventure comes in many sizes. It doesn't matter whether it's big or small. Just go for it. Your greatest reward is knowing that you did something adventurous. When those tiny little butterflies begin to fly in the pit of your stomach as you're about to try something you've never done before, that is adventure telling you not to let your fears get in the way of your dreams. Every day we are left with many challenges in life that we cannot control. To explore is the moment when you truly break free and life becomes great again. Make every day an adventure. Hans Christian Andersen once said, To move, to breathe, to fly, to float, to gain all while you give, to roam the roads of lands remote, to travel, is to live. Just running around in this deep snow, I'm getting my workout. 